I wonder how long this confidence is going to last. We're in chapter 33. Test completed, Max wanted to go outside and explore the streets and neighborhoods of Jerusalem some more. I'd really like to visit Yad Vashim, the World Holocaust Remembrance Center, she told the guard, barring the exit out to the street. You are to remain inside, said the man, who was wearing a wrap around, wrap around sunglasses, even though he was indoors. He was also wearing a bulletproof vest and had a stocky machine gun slung over his shoulder. But it's such a lovely day. No one leaves the building. Orders from Carl, Isabel, and the benefactor. Who exactly is this benefactor? The one who is paying for you kids to be here. The one who sponsors everything the Changemakers Institute has done and will do. The one who pays my salary. Oh, right. I know that, but who is he? Have you met him? Oh, sorry. Who said it's a he? Asked the guard. Well, have you met him or her? No one, no one in Jerusalem has. Max? Carl came up the corridor. You've completed your final exam? Yes, sir. Carl rocked his wrist and looked at his watch. You had eight hours. I know, but I really didn't need that much time. I was hoping I might do a little more exploring, and she gestured toward the door. After what happened yesterday? Impossible. The Corps knows your location. You are at risk. So is the CMI and its mission. Kindly return to your room. Do as Carl suggests, said a second security guard, stepping out from the Shabak team's small office near the Institute's front doors. It was Yaha, the van driver. Max figured he'd been given desk duty after what happened at the Einstein archives. Good, she thought. It's like Tisa had said earlier. Dude deserves to be demoted. You will be summoned to a reading of your results after all the tests have been scored and evaluated, Carl told her. For now, return to your room, read, relax, and stay safe. Max did as she was told. In her room, she popped open her battered suitcase and added a new souvenir, a black and white postcard of Einstein happily riding a bicycle. She purchased it at the Bloomfield Science Museum gift shop right before Isabel and the security team charged into the building. Max spent nine long hours looking through her memorabilia, reading and talking to her inner Einstein, until finally someone rapped on her dorm room door. Max, it was Mrs. Kaplan, it's time. They will see you now. They, said Max, who are they? The Council of Five. Okay. And who are the Council of Five? The judges, the ones who will help the benefactor decide which one of you is the change maker we need. It is a decision that will be finalized within the, excuse me, within the next 24 hours. Max nodded. Apparently, the chosen one was about to be chosen. <laughs>